Hey friends, it's Rachel from Paper Ventures, and Christmas is over, so I can start on Valentine's stuff, right? <laughs> I've been getting right into the swing of things ever since I got Crate Paper's um, Heart Day collection. It, I love pink and gold and all those girly colors, so that got me so excited for Valentine's Day. So once Christmas has been done and I finished my December daily, I went straight to the Valentine's mail. So I'm just kind of flipping through Crate Paper's Heart Day papers. They're so fun. I love both sides to everyone, so it'll be impossible for me to choose. So I'm just kind of going through them and eliminating some and figuring it out. Today I'm making an envelope flip book. Usually I make my own envelopes um, using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, but today um, I used some pre-made ones because I have a huge stash of ones that I got from the store. It's just like card stores that um, that are done with, like that don't need their envelopes or something. I don't know. I get a really good deal with them at a local card shop. So I, yeah, I get a ton of them for really, for just a couple bucks. So I might as well just start using those up. They're a little bit thinner than I would normally use, which is kind of the downside, but um, that's okay. I can still work with it. The paper I use is pretty thick anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. So I just kind of measured the paper um, on the envelope. What I did was I, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just make a, a rectangle to cover the front of it so you can still reach inside the pocket, but um, it's not like the perfect shape of the envelope and I'm okay with that. Like that doesn't bother me. And um, I sometimes do it where like you open it sideways or forward. This one, I'm going to open it forwards if that makes sense. You'll see by the way the cupcake paper at the bottom goes that, um, yeah, so I'm opening it like that. Um, so like I said, there's a lot of pinks in this collection. So if you don't really like pink, this probably isn't for you, but oh man, it's totally for me. I love it. I'll do lots of pinks on a regular day. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't have to be uh, just like Valentine's day. So, so yeah, I didn't realize that I use that same paper twice. I guess I liked it so much, but it's not like um, they show at the same time. So it wasn't a big deal. So this collection also came with a cut apart sheet that you'll see in a little bit. And I love how the cut aparts have tags on them too. They have tags and banners and yeah, different cut aparts like that, um, which is super awesome. Now I hesitated putting these lips on because it's kind of weird giving like lips to a pen pal. But I mean, if it's a pen pal you've known for a while and, um, and you know, it's Valentine's Day, then I guess it's not so weird. But I was like, do I put it on? It's really cute though. So I don't think it'll be weird. <laughs> so here's that cut apart sheet I was talking about. Tons of tags on it. You don't have to, I uh, couldn't find the ephemera pack. I don't have it yet. Hopefully eventually I'll get it. But see, if you don't have it, then there's tons of pieces here that you can use as ephemera. You, I could have even cut out that latte and uh, that cup and and made that a piece of ephemera. Here's my cat visiting. Sorry about that. If you've seen my other videos, you know she likes to visit quite often, which leaves fur sometimes on my things when I use like adhesive. Anyway, so <clears throat> I'm going to pick out some letters and write the word hello. Um, you don't see it in the video, but eventually at the end I do put um, a string on the tag just because I didn't want to leave it empty. <laughs> So uh, these uh, giant letters are from Target. When they came out with them, I bought tons of them. And every time I went back to Target, I bought another one. So, which isn't often because I don't have a Target near me, but um, I have tons of them, which is great. But now I'm getting a little bit tired of them. Anyway, I think this, um, that's, um, what are they called? Thickers, sorry. Those thickers are from this um, Heart Day collection. So... I don't know if like they just like pair it with it or like if it's actually like part of the collection. I don't know. Um, that love um, thing on the left is actually from, um, I believe it's La Cray Paper's uh, Valentine's Day collection from last year called Hello, Hello Love, I think it's called. Anyway, super cute stuff. I got this little like... They're like puffy stickers and stuff like that. I got that from Hobby Lobby actually about a month month or two ago. So I was surprised to see them there. 
And the heart on the top right in, is also from that. And those two collections go together so well. So I might even put the two collections in the same box because they just look so good together. They have the same pinks. They have the same fun um, like typography or whatever. So I don't know. I might just stick them in the same box together because I kind of organize them by boxes. Anyway, they're so similar that they, they might as well be the same, which is awesome because I can coordinate them so easily. I love it. So now I'm going to make an envelope, like a, a smaller envelope using my We Are Memory, Memory Keepers punch board, envelope punch board. Um, I love this punch board. If you don't have one and you're into Happy Mail, you need to get yourself one because they are so useful, so handy. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, just like that. Super easy to make. You just fold it up. You just got to make sure you uh, adhere the right parts because sometimes I do it wrong and eh, it doesn't really matter. But I love with this double-sided paper that it already has, like because it's double-sided, it has the pattern inside. So the envelope, the envelope looks really neat like that, I think. The cupcakes are upside down, but I don't care one bit. I still think it looks fun. That tag that says you and me is actually from... Um, the Hello Love collection and same with that puffy-ish sticker, that sticker on the side on the right. I just tucked the envelope in just so it wasn't in the way and then that chipboard is from the, the chipboard from this collection, from the Heart Day collection and then of course I added some enamel dots. And there's that chipboard, you can kind of see it in the corner. I actually have a haul video, maybe I'll link it below if you want to see the full extent of everything I got and then you can see more in depth that what I'm doing right now is I'm rounding the corners of a cut apart from the hello love collection like I said they match so nicely together the blues the teals or the mint whatever it is and the pinks it's so perfect and then I'm using the phrase stickers from Tim Holtz phrase stickers. <laughs> I love this paper pad and it lasts, or the sticker pad, it lasts forever. So that's awesome. Usually when I'm, when I'm finished a uh, piece of mail, I kind of, or when I think I'm getting to the end, I go through all of my other chipboard from other collections and other stickers and stuff and see what else I can add. So that feather chipboard is from, I believe, uh, the journey collection. And then I forgot I had these, uh, puffy stickers from the collection. They're really, really adorable. They have little faces on them, which I love. And then the front and back pockets, I don't usually do much to them. Um, I don't know why, I just don't. But this one I made a little bit of a pocket. That paper actually that I used with those crosses on it is from Hello Love. So it matches quite nicely. I still have tons of paper left from that collection, so I'm eager to use it use it up. Um, so I'm just, so I just kind of had found scraps. So that was kind of perfect. And yeah, that's all. So I did add a few other touches here and there like string and stuff. But other than that, you saw the full thing. So I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for many more pocket letter flipbook videos. Bye.